It's we not the, even conditioned yeah. for niggas to have this type of money. So the way we act is just off of impulse. If we really formulate a group and be like, look, you take all the money you spend here. You take all the money you spend here. Not only that, the black motherfucker has the same shit. They like, nigga, I'm not paying $350 for his sweatshirt. This shit should be 40 You don't know Louie. You're going to go in here and spend a thousand dollars on the shirt because who said that this motherfucker was worth a thousand? Mm -hmm. This is what you see. This is what you conditioned to. So we have to wipe this whole narrative and the way we think on certain situations on what's hot, what's elevating, what's morally making you progress. And then we're going to literally find ourselves in a better state of mind. I right. think that's, yeah. it takes a generation Fuck to yeah. do it, though, because yeah. you think about those brands you just named with Louis Vuitton or Rolex. These are brands that have been around for hundreds of years and they've been able to prosper for hundreds of years. And then that branding is something that you see and you automated automatically attach to being wealthy or you automatically attach to being, you know, well off. Right. We don't have those status symbols amongst us. Like yeah. the thing we don't have I don't even think I can name one thing that a black man has created and owned that you can have on you or with you that make you be like, oh he got a or whatever. Oh he got some cornbread from Uncle Ricky. Right. Off, Nigga, off, he got off, money. Off, off white was I mean, but still, that was that was a, a, a connected to yeah, for sure. a, a brand that was already established. So for us to be able to do it without getting that, right. you know, what I mean, that extra hand, that the big brother hand to come and say, "Hey, yeah. give me that," you know, what I mean, that's what it's going to take a while, yeah. I believe. But, see, but I think but it's possible. But see the add on is here, here, right? But see the add on his, right? Hold on, I want to break it off. It's in my head. But see the add on his. We use that materialistic, like he said, we put that value on the Rolex and the Lord. Be like, okay, we made it instead of saying spiritually, culturally, what's making it to us. Because that, we putting our status on making it when peace can be mean you made it. Your friend in, in a better state of mind mean you made it. You thinking you going outside, Joe, your, your state of mind and the way you supposed to live and this is valued. And this is validation to everybody else. You know what made me stop run. buying that shit? I actually Googled who these people were. Mm. Look them up. Some terrible looking motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, once you just see a the chest, just of these the people chest. that names you putting on your body, you right. don't really rethink that shit. Why would you give a fuck what an old white man think is cool? Right. Yeah. Why? That's what Dame Dash told us. I won't name the designer, but he told me about a designer that's really popular. He right. was like, yo, I know the dude. He's a bad person, like terrible. a terrible person. He's like, so when ex when somebody raps about him, you gotta question them. Right. Cause it's like yeah. and they like, know him. He's like, this and he's like, yeah, and they, and they know him. Yeah. And they know he's a bad person. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he's right. like, yo, I know these people personally. Like they're like real yeah. devil. But I want to talk about that. You said it might take a generation in DC. You said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Are we in the midst of that generation, right? Because the, we the first, supposed to be that generation. That's what I'm saying. Right? When you look at, if we're talking about just the entertainment space, especially in your space, when I look at y'all and I look at what y'all doing with 85 Media, I'm watching it firsthand. When I look at, when we, like we were backstage and we're talking about this is a family. Right. I'm looking at who y'all hiring. Right. This is now the example. This is now being celebrated. Yeah, Netflix recognizes it, but the community recognizes it for right. years, right? I'm looking at Ernie Leisure. Same right in the, in the financial space. Right. Like, shout out to, to Charlemagne again in, in Black Effect, what they're doing in, in the pocket. It's like, Yo, it's happening. We're in the midst of it. Right. We just got to keep leading these examples and change the mindset of the people as we're doing it. Right. So when y'all when y'all perform, right? Because when I look at y'all, I never look like, yo, these guys are comedians. I first look like, yo, these guys are brilliant. They're brilliant because what they do is impossible. Are y'all going into these spaces with that cognizant thought? Like, we represent the generation that we're, we're talking about right now. Right. Okay, even look at this platform right here. Yeah. Look at all the things you've been able to do earn your leisure. Right. Now think of how much further ahead we'd be if we came from, if your dad was a cameraman for 30 years, mm -hmm. or if your dad was a producer for 30 years, or your mom was the secretary at Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Like if we were grandfathered in, we'd fact. be billionaires. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fact. We, like you said, that we're the generation that changed. We the first generation. Where there was a no blueprint. Because right. we start, this started out as homeboys right. making jokes. Right. On a play, on, on a show, right? We didn't know that it was. We didn't know that we would have to accept the responsibility of having to create our own media company, right? Like when we were sitting there, and we were going out, we were meeting with these people. Like, yeah, we want to take it on the road. We want to do this. We want to do this. And they were like, "How? 
It'll never work. Like those were literally the words of these same people who come back and they oh well, it's great. I always we love it. Work. I always, <laughs> always do. do. I can't I'll, stand I'll, them type of motherfuckers. Guys, I'll I'll always do. Right. What I'm saying is like who gonna help us help us? Yeah. We can't do this shit by ourselves. Right. We don't have the 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 knowledge of if we were just sitting here, we don't know how to put that camera right there and but get these But we are the ones that take shit. the risk for to be the blueprint. Exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? But also, we observe because we observe y'all as well where it's like, okay, it does work. But see, this is what goes back to what I said earlier. If we just stop hating on one another and really say, what could we do together? Or Believe in me. I don't know what the fuck I'm getting myself into. When you say it, bro, just believe in me, little bro. I ain't know what the fuck this was. Hmm. And then once I saw the bigger picture, it took me, it took me probably about three, three and a half years, even after we done popped off, for me to really put my stamp on it. Cause I had to sit back and I was like, but we got a lot of people. Hold up. This motherfucker go to work here every day. Okay. This is bigger than how I perceive it. Now I'm looking at it how they looking at it, mm. and I'm looking at how everybody else is looking at it. And I'm like, hmm, what can I do to enhance this? And then once I start, I said, you know what? Right. This is why I appreciate y'all because y'all bring a certain energy where a nigga has to, you got to pick up or you're going to find out you, you slacking. Mm, right. And when you slacking, you like, okay, I'm the problem. And then, once I see I'm the problem, it's like, how can I enhance this situation and make it better amongst people who bring in that same type of energy? Just you know not what just a made, workspace. You know what did it for me? What? It's like seeing everybody around us right. not have to go to work. Right. Not have to go. You know what I mean? Like, this your job now. When I saw my friends quitting their job, then I knew. I was like, this is this is really something. Cause that was just a whole different feeling that I never even thought. Like you know, of course, in this shit, when you like, oh, I quit my job, I do this. Right. But it's just you. Other people like, yeah. man, my dog, the cameraman, he ain't had to go get no other jobs for three years. Right. Like he, ain't, you straight, you good, my boy. And like I'm not only am I good, I'm better. Cause I got my own independence. I'm free. Right. I could, I could, but I don't have to. And right. that's what really set the tone for me is <laughs> watching other people on their leisure. For me, exactly. it, was, it was seeing the people, like the people being out, you know, because whenever I go to a city, I always touch the city in whatever way I can. And once people start coming up to me talking about us versus everything else that they see us do, mm -hmm. like they specifically say, yeah, yeah, man, I know you from, but that shit y'all doing, bro, keep yeah. doing that shit. Right. That's what made me know, like, okay, we impacting because certain places you wouldn't even think that we was touching those places. Because yeah. I'd be some places, my would be like, man, what you doing here? And when I see that we are... Uh, we were there when I saw we had infiltrated those places that you can't infiltrate, especially in our community. It's certain places that they not even letting no new yeah. shit come through. Right. It's like, nigga, fuck that. We got what we like and, yeah. and that's it. Bro, I had so went to the to gas station a, and they had that, the, the Arab dude had the shit playing out like Yeah, that type of shit. Bro, we done made it to yeah. the hood. <laughs> so, that type of shit. The barber shops, those type of things. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>